What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Let's Play Resident Evil Remake Remastered. Last time we made it to this cozy little safe room, but we didn't really get a chance to strike out much from here. And we also got the armor key, too. Should let us make it a little bit deeper into this big labyrinthine mansion. Oh, I thought I could push that. Cleaning products inside smells faintly unpleasant. Oh, okay, that should be one of the ones left alive in the stairwell, or maybe upstairs. Unless that one by the door got up as a crimson head. Is that a pack of bullets? No, it's a battery pack. Is that a puzzle item? No, it's not. Is it a defensive item? Looks like it. The stun gun? The hell did I get? I guess I've always had that and it was just a battery for it. You take the broken shotgun? Can't equip it. Ah, uh, okay. It's a kerosene refill and ink riddens. Holy shit, this room's a treasure trove. And I'm really starting to stockpile puzzle items up. It's becoming kind of a problem. So where can I... Okay, I guess this door's the only way forward. And it's an armor door. That's the first use we got out of that armor key. And immediately another battery pack? Holy shit, they're loading me up for some reason. Shines coldly. It's not lit. Okay, we have this path over here. And that branches off, so what's down this... Oh! Oh my god. That's really good. You see a shadow pounding on the glass, and that's what you hear creaking. Oh man! I love what they do with lighting in this. They frame the shots really, really well. It's also kind of thanks to the fixed camera angles. It let's the developers control like what visual information you're getting. I think it also has to do with giving it uh, the game a more like movie-like or cinematic feel. Okay, so turning it towards that side doesn't do anything. What about turn it towards the green side? Ah, uh, that waters the herbs. Okay. Oh, I can pick these up. Safely. I'm assuming if I try to go past them, I'll get grabbed. Uh, and possibly eaten. The only thing I can think is I have that bag of plant food that I picked up. Um. On the terrace with the dogs. I almost couldn't see the door. It's so dark in here. Uh, isn't that fertilizer though? Or plant food or something? What exactly was it? I think it was a, it, the label on it was a bag which makes plants grow or something weird. Unless I'm using it to make the plant grow so it busts a hole in the ceiling or something so I can, ah, I don't know. Sometimes it's just, it's just best not to overthink puzzles. Because some of them use some real obtuse logic. So if there's any kind of logical strand you can follow, just go for it. Don't try to pull it. The whole thing will unravel. Uh, my metaphor is going pretty poorly. So we're just going to take this bag of plant food back to the plant room. I'm waiting for him to bust through. I know it's coming. still really effective at evoking dread. Uh, use that. Yeah. Unless turning it to the green side would make the... Let's see. No, the vines just wither and die. And it was chemical to feed the plants. 
What? Is this Dio's stone mask? Yes, it is. Sono Chino Sarame. Oh, shit. So I'm assuming if I turn that to the green side, it would have just killed the, uh, the, the green herbs back there. I'm leaving a lot of green herbs around on the floor. Uh, that way... Shit! I knew it was coming! It still got me. Is that the shot I was... No, no, no. It has to be the shot from RE2 that I, that I always think of. In the police station. The zombies coming up through the boarded uh, windows. Oh, Jesus. I knew it was coming. It still got me. Nice. There's an inscription here. Tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Uh, that sounds like one of those puzzles where you insert gems in the eyes. Blue and yellow. There's a sapphire on a statue uh, above the dining room in, the in that hallway. I haven't seen a topaz anywhere. Guess I'm not going to be coming back here for a little bit until at least I find that. Junk. High proof liquor. Oh, this is a bedroom. Uh, I guess I'll take the handgun mag. Clothes and various bits of junk. Oh, shit. There's something in the closet. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, this scumbag. Dated May 9th, 1998. One day later, one of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on, said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and it feels itchy all over. Goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. I think I know what this memo is. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy. I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling of my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott come ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. Yeah, itchy, tasty. What an iconic memo. Ah, uh, kneecap you. To get to the battery back in the clock. I can't believe that's all that's been. Oh, there's two of them. Damn it. Ah, uh, plunge a dagger into his head. We're good to go. Ah, uh, man. I was hoping to just slip past him. This one's gonna be a problem too, unless he doesn't turn around quick. In retrospect, that could have been locked and I would have been in a really bad position. Uh, actually, no, I have tons of those defensive items, so it's still good. Wait, I think I... Oh, God! I know where I am! So, shoot you in the foot. Goodbye. I forgot that this was an armor key door. I just know there are locked doors back here. I think the other one's a sword key door. Ooh, it's a big... Oh, it's a really beautiful bar. Wooden counter. Aroma like fine wine. And that's a big grand piano in the back. Ah, ink ribbon. I knew I saw something. It's a big grand piano in the background. Is there gonna be some big stupid piano puzzle? Okay. 
Well, it doesn't look like I have to play it, so I'm happy with that. Run my face up against everything and push everything around that I can. Which is a good habit to be in, because I got a musical score. So let's go back to that piano in a second. Uh, just after I figure out what this says. Is that Moonlight Sonata? Yes, it is. Actually, it looks like Sonnet. Hmm. It's titled Moonlight Sonata. That That's clearly an E, though, right? Ah, uh, someone fucked up. Okay, let's go play Moonlight Sonata. Not necessary to use this now? Really? Is there something else I need to do here? Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't believe how many puzzle items I'm just stocking up that I have no use for yet. That's actually kind of crazy. You know what else is crazy? How good this level design is. As I'm starting to find shortcuts, it's just getting so- Oh god, that's so good! There's no more use for this key! Oh yes! Oh my god. This is terrific. I love this. Okay, so this- Oh, this is grimy as shit. This is one of the most disgusting looking kitchens I've ever seen in a game. Holy shit. There's so much good shit happening right now. Dishes are covered in maggots. Bunch of spices I've never- Oh! Wait a minute, was that the... Yes, it was. <laughs> I spooked myself. You're getting up, just when. Power doesn't seem to be turned on. I guess that's the lift. Damn it, Jill, you're falling down all the time. Aren't you supposed to be special ops? Stars? And that was the. That was not a, a threatening encounter. Okay. Man, I'm really, really pleased. Somewhere, I hear a door trying to be broken down. I know it when it. I don't think I'm slipping past you, am I? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh, god damn, this level design's great. I mean, I expected it to be, but it's better than I expected, to be honest. Okay, so I'm running low on shotgun shells. I picked up the death mask. I killed two birds with one stone mask real quick. Uh, and head out up the stairs here to the graveyard. Yeah. So, pick up the box of shotgun shells, buy the headstones, and then head downstairs in the graveyard real quick to place the stone mask. I think the fog is what makes this graveyard so good. It's suffocating. Ah, it's only six shells, but... It'll do. They're making shotgun shells extremely uncommon so far, compared to handgun rounds. Which is fine, because the shotgun uh, has been a lifesaver. So, death mask. It's a mask without eyes. Which one did not have eyes? Stone statue with a hole where the eye should be. There we go! Jesus. I should have seen that coming. Okay, so we get all four stone masks, place them, and then what pops out of that coffin? That looks like... Hmm... I mean, I know better, but it seems like a vampire coffin. 
What separates that from a normal coffin? I don't know. Uh, it's... I'm pretty positive it's not a vampire, though. It could have been once upon a time, though. Okay, we got some more doors to try. Uh, yeah, it, it could have been. Resident Evil was once a very, very different game. First off, the original 1996 Resident Evil was uh, originally designed as a multiplayer game, but they couldn't really pull it off at the time, which is one of many, many very fortunate coincidences, because the landscape of survival horror could have been very, very different. Uh, it was also, I think I mentioned this, it was supposed to feature ghosts and a bunch of supernatural phenomena at first. Uh, there was going to be a Game Boy Color port of the game, and the Game Boy Color just couldn't handle it. Uh, some dude got his hands on, on the, the ROM for the, the Game Boy port at some point, though, and he released it, and it's barely playable, and it is hilarious how shitty it is. Yo, what is that? He's giving up the ghost. Oh, man. Stilted ass idioms. Yo! They're giving me the grenade launcher already? Let's go! Got those acid shells last time? Is that forest coming at me? Oh, Jesus! Look at him go! Nope. Bye. I think I got everything I wanted here. It was a dead end with some herbs. Yeah, he was motoring. Holy hell. Must have, like, the, the crimson head strain of the T-virus. Or wait, is this G or T? Oh, no! Doesn't help that all the viruses sound similar. G, T, and C. Okay, where can I go from here? Oh! So there's nothing in the main... ...hall here that's, uh, locked anymore. But there is some stuff branching off from here. It's like this really intricate, interconnected web. And as you get more keys, you go deeper and deeper out from the web. Getting more and more complex. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Bring me unnamed serum. Uh, which I think I saw some of back in the, the one safe room. Also, big ass snake? Oh, they even point out to you. How helpful. Big ass snake? Sounds like yawn. Yo, where are you at, yawn? Big dumb snake. Oh, I love Yawn. I love the idea of Yawn. To go off of um the the weird history of Resident Evil a little bit more to get back on that track. Uh some more really weird facts about the development history of this game and how just bizarre it was. Oh, hold on. Can I get past you? Nah, I'm gonna play it safe and go the other way around. Because of all, like, the, the remakes and constant re-releases and side games and the ports and shit, it's just so strange the way the, the way this series has gone. Like, 
RE0, RE1, Remake, Remake HD, 1.5, 2, Gaiden. All the game- not all of them, but the Game Boy port. All those different versions of 4. All the releases- re-releases of every game. Oh, god. That got dicey. Ah. <sighs> I just hope they remake 2 and 3 in the style of remake. Unironically, I hope they do that re-release. Capcom loves re-releasing their shit anyway. And plus... It, like, the, ser the weird-ass development of this series, it usually leads to cool stuff. I mentioned in the Devil May Cry Let's Play that... The original Devil May Cry came from an initial build of Resident Evil 4 that strayed too far from the from what the series was going for. So they just turned it into a new franchise, into DMC. The same thing happened with a different Resident Evil. Um, there was going to be a Resident Evil game set in like the Sengoku era Japan, and it was going to be full of ninjas and shit. And that got scrapped, and it got turned into Onimusha. So all of those old, failed Resident Evil projects just turned into awesome-ass games. Uh, we'll dump the grenade launcher off for now. I don't think I'm going to be using it too soon, unless Yawn is in the very next room from, uh, what's-his-name who needs the serum? Uh, then I might kick myself. And it seems... I don't know if he would be hiding a room away from Yawn. Whatever, I'll take the chance. I got my shotgun, and 15 hand- Woo! Am I getting around you? Yes, I am! Just juke and jump. Oh, those white-shirted zombies, I found out. Um... Those are based on Shinji Mikami. He was their, um, the motion capture dude for the, uh, white-shirted zombies. Cross back through here and use that really cool little shortcut across the second floor hall to get back to what's his name. Didn't pay that much attention to his name in the cutscene. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? <sighs> Did I get to him too late? That sounds... Where's his radio? So he gave me a radio. Damn it. That sounded like I got there too late. I'm okay. The others... That's some House of the Dead 2 voice acting. I guess I didn't get to him too late? I don't know. Okay, so there's a room that branches off from here. Uh, come on, yawn! Let's see yawn this episode. No! Got you, and a couple of stairs. Oh, Jesus. I thought I would be able to maybe get another shot off and then turn around or something. I was misjudged. Come on, yawn. I'm hoping to see yawn behind every damn door. Big dumb snake. <laughs> like, yawn is literally just a giant snake. Isn't he supposed to be an anaconda, too? So the fact that he's poisonous doesn't make any sense, if that's the case. Okay, I can't push this. I thought so. Oh, hell. You're in here. Uh, I'm not getting grabbed again. Yeah, kneecap. Did I blow his leg off? It looks like it. Nice. It's too dark to see much of it. Are you fucking kidding me? So, I'm... Even if I wasn't keeping, uh, even if I wasn't keeping the lighter out to burn zombies to stop them from coming back, 
Which, by the way, I haven't seen anything come back as a Crimson Head yet. I guess the chance might be really, really low. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to keep it with me because that, that's like a Silent Hill mechanic. Where you couldn't read the map in Silent Hill or use certain key items and shit. Ah! You get grabbed by everything now. I'm a little flustered. Unless you have had the, uh, the flashlight on. Ah! Let's... Emblem of a shield is carved into the lock. Okay. That's all webbed up. Is there a giant spider boss in this I don't know about? Whatever, I'm gonna run back to the safe room real quick. Did they just place stuff in here? Yeah, cool. Will you take the incendiary shells? And there's a bunch of first aid spray? God damn. Oh, and I didn't even see that. There's handgun magazines, too. That's awesome. Can I hold 45 at a time in one magazine? Yeah. Holy shit, that's very, very generous. That's a level of generosity I wasn't actually expecting. Uh, so I'm, like, good to go on ammo and healing items for a while. In fact, I haven't had to use any of my healing items I have stocked up yet. Okay, now I have my lighter, I have my fuel canteen now. Let's get back inside and see what I actually needed those for. What I'm actually looking for inside this room that was too dark to see before. First, before I do that, is the zombie back here repopped? No. Okay, I'm safe. That one seemed to have just disappeared. Not necessary. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Please tell me I'm just not. Okay, I just wasn't close enough. Whew. So, what do we actually. Will you take the musical score? Okay, I see what I'm going to be needing that for. I can't read that, so. Yeah, beginning and last sections are missing. So we'll combine that with the sheet of music for Moonlight Sonata. That should give us everything we need to do the piano puzzle now, unless there's a third sheet of music. Uh, but I'm not banking on that. I'm also banking on something else, and if Frictional has taught me well with their puzzle design and their blog posts about uh, how do you design puzzles for horror games, then hopefully uh, another sly of my inventory hasn't been wasted. There should be a zombie out in this hall somewhere. I know he grabbed me on my way back out here. There we go. Proper juke. Um, in my minor frustration going through here and back and forth and back and forth to the safe room and back, I managed to get grabbed like three or four times and I also chose a really stupid route. Which, yeah. The doorknob looks like it's ready. Ah, that that keeps getting me. I feel like if I... Oh my god, that's, that's what kept happening on my way back. Yeah, oh. I'm lucky I stockpiled all those defensive items because I'm now wasting a lot of them. I was doing well dodging zombies earlier. This isn't even the quickest... That wasn't even qu the quickest route to get around anyway. What a waste. Yeah, I got grabbed a whole lot. Uh, now I have to bypass him again. Ah! I was doing so well before. Oh well, that's what the taser and the uh, daggers are for. Yeah, the route I was trying to go downstairs wasn't even the quickest way I could have gone. In fact, there's a third way I could have gone that I think would have been even faster than the way I'm going through the dining room. But I kind of already forgot that shortcut where it was. Over time, because of the, the intimate style of level design and all the backtracking, you'll eventually get more familiar with the layout of this place, but I'm just not at that point yet where I have all the shortcuts 
laid out clearly in my head. So I'm gonna wind up taking some pretty inefficient routes. Ooh, that's uh, Crimson Head Town. Uh, we got a problem. I think I'm gonna blow his shins off. And just get around him that way. Yeah, but oh, hey. Wait, that's... Mm, I can't tell if that is a Crimson Head. Might have just been a regular one. I thought that that's the room that had a Crimson Head in it, though. However, let's play the piano. Get on with this. That kind of looks like the uh, garden room across the glass pane where we use the chemical for the plants. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you're safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. They were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I pass out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, "Most likely, your family is already." I pray for their safety. Somehow, I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. These are dated kind of far apart. That was what? Trevor, Jessica, Lisa? You take the gold emblem. Oh, here we go. This isn't quite what I was expecting to have to use. Uh, it's gone all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same thing that this wooden emblem says, I think. So it's the same as the uh, the key puzzle we did earlier. That's not quite what I was expecting to have to use the shield for in this room, but I... Mmm, thank you, Frictional. I knew some shit was going to happen with that. This is why you put puzzle items within a few rooms of where you actually need to use them. Uh, locality. Thank you, Frictional. If every other puzzle item I got or that I'm going to get follows that rule, I'll be very happy, but so far... It's kind of 50-50. I think the, uh, the, the bag of chemicals you use on plants was uh, fairly far away. Way more than a few rooms from where you actually need to use it. Okay, so putting the gold emblem in its slot opens up some gears on the grandfather clock. Are we fi finally going to deal with this clock? When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. Uh, small and large gear. And you can turn each one left or right. Okay, so... What was that? The large gear? Or the... No, the small gear. Controls the big hand. Nothing happens. Maybe you got something wrong. Helmet, shield, armor, and sword... Dis uh, yeah. So, what's my hint for this puzzle? Once the two have run each other through... Shield, armor, sword... Oh, I see. There's a painting. Hold on, hold on. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. So, minute hand should be through the helmet, and the hour hand should be through the armor. And the sword and the shield... 
Wait, did the sword and the shield met? No. Because it's just about them running each other through. So, short hand should be on the armor. And then the small gear controls the big hand. No. Yeah, that's right. Yeah! Oh, I wasn't expecting the clock to just move out of the way. You take the mansion key. Okay, is that the armor key or the other one? Or, no, we have the armor key. That's the shield key. Nice. Okay, so we can go a little bit deeper into the mansion now. Again. Should only be one of those mansion keys left. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.